Eat it up, microwave. Eat it up, microwave. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Full health. I'm in a gang. Well, I sort of. Arguably, it's just the neighborhood watch. I'm in the neighborhood watch. But we get up to gang activities. If there's any, like, I don't know, badgers or foxes messing with livestock, we talk about it. So I suppose you could say I'm in a gang or whatever. Uh, why, am I, why am I even talking about that? What the hell? Uh, I'll tell you, it's because we're watching five gang members versus one fake. You guys wanted more Jubilee. How do I word this? Real versus fake? Odd one out. It's literally called odd one out. It says it in the top left. My brain's small, so that's why. <laughs> That's why I couldn't figure that one out. No need for an intro, other than you sitting your ass cheeks down on the subscribe button. That's all you need to do. Okay, let's go. I'm in a gang. 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 I am in a gang. One of them is lying. That's what I think. I think one of them is lying. I think five of them are telling the truth and one of them is lying. Let's find out. Uh, where you grew up at? Queens, New York. Yeah. Where you from? Queens. Let me make a prediction. It's called stereotyping. Out of these guys, hmm, I think he's a fake. That's what I think. And if you're not a fake, don't kill me. I'm not in the mood. That's a bold move, leaving the leaving a little triangle of unbuttonedness. Maybe he's in the Illuminati because this says it all. He's letting his gut breathe. He's letting that thing breathe. Like any neighborhood, he's Queens. Yeah, he's Elmhurst. Okay, how about you, my man? He's Dino Guthrie's. Watching San Gabriel Valley. I grew up in uh, West LA, played with gang. Okay, where are you from? Compton. Okay, well, hood. Elm Street Power Room. Well, that's when I asked you, where you from? Well, you tell me Queens. I'm asking, where you from? We're here to find out who's from the hood. Where you from? Again, East 16th, Newkirk. Okay. I'm gonna call my people real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me call my people, seriously. Seriously, you guys can flex all you want, but I call my people, there's gonna be problems. The neighborhood watch about to turn up and they stand in on business. They just stand there and watch your ass. That's all they do. You ever been in jail? I was in the feds and in the states. I did uh, three years of the juvenile. And... You went, man? Nah, not locked up. No time at all? This guy kind of sus, huh? Nah, not locked up. Not yet, anyway. This guy's kind of running the conversation. I think he's definitely, he's either overcompensating or he's just as gang as gang gets, which I guess would be the leader of a gang. I know, because I can tell, because I am one. Now this YA got out after that, 67 days. Oh me, no, I, I miss why I went from camp to after that to prison, San Quentin. What level were you in? Oh, uh, two. So how do they jump you guys in your hood over there where you're at from? How do they court you into the neighborhood? Oh my God, I realize I've had fucking subtitles on this whole time. I'll turn them off now, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Into gang stuff until I went into MDC. And you went, man? I jumped in. You jumped in? How many guys? About five. What they call them, remember? No. Oh, the homies. But what the homies' names? I remember the homies jump in. The homie Chapo, the homie Sinbad. Hey, Somebody man. beats you up, you kind of remember who beats you up. Hey, the homie Big Mike. <laughs> Other nigga, I ain't really know him. Okay. How old are you? 36. I got no idea what's going on, I'm gonna be honest. I am so lost. Let's talk about jumping in. You talking about a trampoline park or something? Probably. I've been to one of them. They're crazy. I guess that is the hood, kinda. They're giving, they're giving my man over here a hard time, actually. And I predicted him right off the jump. And now they're on his ass. I don't know. I think they should all just fight and see who comes out on top. Whoever wins is, well, whoever wins is not lying, but who really cares? Cause you're trying to find out the liar. All right, whoever dies first is a liar and just leave it there. You never been to jail? Nah, man, I was in to get money. Me too, I'm all about money, but I still end up getting yeah. caught. So who jumped in the Playboys? Sad eyes, lazy, lucky, grumpy. Well, you got jumped by the seven dwarfs, did you? They're just gonna let that slide. <laughs> yeah, I just got jumped by grumpy, dozy, lazy, snotty, <laughs> farty. Even farty was jumping my ass. Keep your butt to yourself. Half of those were actually the seven dwarfs though, weren't they? You know, from Snow White, you know, those, those guys, the little fellas. I'm thinking these two guys somewhere over here. I don't know why. Hey, we didn't ask him no questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, I'm yeah. certified player. I started banging in 1989, North Hollywood, California, 91606. My Y number 63298. I lived through the whole 90s gang banging. All right, gang banging has a very different meaning in the UK and America. Gang bang over here, you wouldn't want to be part of, let me tell you, okay? Gang bang over there, something different, apparently. Very different, clearly. His name is Gil. I'm sorry. Ain't no gangster named Gil. You're not part of a gang. You're part of a great white shark, my boy. I think he's lying. It sounds like a very like a, a pre-written script that he's just listing off and he's saying it so quick. Like he's planned this in the mirror. I don't trust Gil. 
It's very cool to sit here and try to guess who was that person. He's just, his demeanor seemed like, like a cop to me, like. That's a good point, actually. He does give off police vibe. He gives off a police vibe. He could be, though, because he would know everything about gangs if he was a police officer, and I could see him in uniform. You could see him in uniform, too. I know you could. Are we gonna get jumped in? I didn't have to. Yeah. Do you know what you were saying though for? Absolutely not. No, I was told. Sometimes you don't understand. When you're young, like for me, like I was definitely told. Oh, here you go, this right here go. They did what to your brother gonna do that? His name is Mad Bull. Is that by birth? Does your actual government name Mad Bull? <laughs> uh, his best friend's Crazy Sack. <laughs> his brother who didn't get into the gang life is called Civil Shaft. And he just works in engineering or something. Oh, me growing up in life, I'm gonna get shot. I've been shot nine times, different occasions, ran over twice. One was accident and one wasn't. You've been run over twice, shot nine times. You look in pristine condition. Run over twice and once was an accident as well. What? How are you still standing? Hey, I'm Cole, and I directed this episode. If you like this episode, Shut up, Cole. you want to see more like this. Shut up! No offense, actually, Cole, but I am gonna skip. I'm gonna skip what you're saying. You grew up in the streets. You'd have been in jail from a juvenile to an adult. i never been to jail. I have been arrested a bunch of times. You have any tattoos? Of course I do. I just can't show you. Man, the feds are watching. You scared of the feds? Yeah. I want to know what that tattoo is right there on your hand. Yeah, it's a fucking fed. Fuck this guy. No, but really he is. Do you see the way he deflected it as well? I want to know what that tattoo on the hand is. No, you don't want to see my tattoos. What the fuck? No, the feds are watching. Let me see what that thing is on your hand. How about that? Maybe he's just got a tramp stamp. Maybe it's just an embarrassing tattoo, like a butterfly above his ass. It's a crown. So you did fed time? Yes. He had full blown like Hanyas and, and like Japanese art. It just kind of threw me off a little. How many different sets? Of the, what is the editor up to? <laughs> just in case you didn't see his eye line. This <laughs> like Phoenix with dragons and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It just kind of threw me off. A <laughs> Proof that he was looking at the tattoos, guys. Little. How many different sets of labels is there? What do you mean by sets? Well, clicks or? Yeah, clicks. You know, I know a little bit about gangs, so just a little bit. I might be a cop, who knows? Oh, oh man, that might be the police, homeboy. He is. He actually is, isn't he? He's talking too much. He's talking too much like a cop as well. Like I've got, like I know what I'm talking about. I watched Breaking Bad, okay? So Gil, what organization are you with? Very simple, I mean, I grew up on Tierra Street. I'm from Tierra Street Locals. What do you do for, what do you work right now? Structural concrete. I do illegal activities. <laughs> I can't do that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I go to prisons and, and speak. I do like Christian content creation too. Christian content creation, that's so niche. Well, it's actually not that niche. This is like content creation, but you're just, you're just Christian as well. I know Cindy's lapping that up. I've seen your t shirt, Cindy. Let faith be bigger. My, my gal. I wonder if we can find this guy. I don't know what to search though. Christian content Christian content creation? Hey, keep your eyes closed. You don't want to know what I'm searching. Christian Bale's nutsack. No, I didn't search that. That's just there. Guys, I give up and I can't be asked. That's the end of the search. I own a bunch of companies. My main business is dealer synergy. You got it tatted on you. Please tell me that's fake and just for the video, just a bit of promo. You got dealer synergy written across like that, just a car dealership. It's like having Bristol Street Motors just tatted on you right there. That is crazy. Plus, it's the same colors as Pornhub, I think. I've never seen Pornhub. But... My main business is dealer center. It's fucking Pornhub tattoo. Maybe there's a good... Me Let me hear him out. Maybe there's a good message behind it. Our clients are big car dealerships all over the United States. Nope. It's a car dealership. Consulting business development. I've helped these companies make over $1.5 billion in additional revenue. I'm also a professional speaker in the National Speaker Association, and I wrote a book about Google. So I'd say it's hard to classify. Yo, Nana's calling. Hello? Hi, Anna. Isaac, are you at home? Yeah, I am. Uh, is your mum in or out? Uh, she's in. Uh, it's just that we, we're going to be passing uh, within the half an hour, and we wondered about calling in for a cup of tea to see you. Yeah, come on in, man. Oh, well, we will. Come have a cuppa. All right, put the kettle on soon. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye. bye. I don't know who that was. That wasn't even my nan. I mean, more than anything else, I'm an entrepreneur. I invest in businesses. By the way, I just brushed over the fact this guy just flexed so hard on us. Uh, yeah, I'm part of Dealer Synergy, and we, we made our clients 1.5 billion in extra revenue, and I talk. By the way, you might talk, but I talk as well as doing all that money stuff. I talk all over the place, and I've got a book. So, no, you guys, you guys are doing great for yourself. You should see me. I'm 46. I work my ass hard to get rid of my accident. Why you get rid of your accident? It's already bad enough. Look the part, feel the part if you're trying to turn around. Wait, what? His name's Sean now? I thought his name was Madball. No. That was someone else. So you got Mad Bull and Sean and Gil and Cindy and some other dude. I haven't found it out his name yet. I had to get rid of my accent as well because the neighborhood watch. They wouldn't let me in with an accent. Mud wasn't very cool though.
Water. 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 Yeah. Water. Your first tattoo was made with a homemade gun? Yeah, the homemade gun. It was a guitar string. Oh, I thought you said piano. I was like... No, no, no. He said piano. Oh, black and white flashback. Without the old uh, piano. Piano fucking. He got tattooed. How'd you get tattooed with a whole piano? By the way, how the hell is even that? How, how possible? Gobby, you ever done that shit? No, Gobby was tattooed by his own umbilical cord. Don't ask how he did that, just did it. And thing, uh, guitar. Maybe I said piano, but I'm, I'm sticking to guitar right now. I'm still curious why I won't show the tattoos. Sean asked, I'm still curious why you're not showing those tattoos. Straight away put Sean's name up. Right, you're gone then, you little twat. Don't ask questions. No disrespect, I'm not saying it was soft and like that. Did not scream like thugga thugga. <sighs> This other feds used to, used to do to me too. I'm putting that wire on yeah, you. That's how you do it, Playboy. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering what they were doing there, that he was getting a prostate exam in front of them. <laughs> that's definitely true as well. If you don't know what one of those is, search it up with your parents around. Even if you're like 30 years old, search it up with your parents around. I'm just saying in general, search it with your parents around because it's like a family thing. Just forget one. Just forget about it. Keep playing because you think the mole is still in there. <laughs> A little okay. doubt. I think he is. He's the one? Who some of your homies did? Did anybody do time in iron with? I can't tell you who in that. Yeah, friendly ball, still in there. <laughs> Intellectual ball and sticky ball. You don't want to know where he got his name from, unless you do. Only spent time in prison once or? Twice. At what percent does he give you? What you mean at what percent? It was half time. Mm. Okay. Finish the sentence for me, all right? The higher the socks. The down the floor. Okay. <laughs> These two guys, I'm sure from the hood. Hey. Line. He's got a whole gua sha on his uh, on his chest. You know what gua sha is? You do like a uh, like drain your face with it or something? I don't know. I've just seen people rubbing him on their face. Nobody never been shot. I'm the only person been shot. I've been shot. I've been shot. First time I got shot was five times. Two times right here in the shoulder, inside of the face, and one on this side of my buttock. When I got shot with the AK was another time. Then I got shot by some of your people. Oh yeah. And the bullet came through the door, hit me right in this leg. I fell to the ground. It was so funny. I'm like. Oh, I'm hit. My homeboy started laughing. Just laughing about it. Um, mad bull, your math ain't making sense. You said you've been shot nine times. Nine times you've been shot on five occasions. The first time, you were shot five times. You got four shots left and four occasions. You said the second time, AK, you were shot twice. That's seven shots in total on two occasions, leaving two shots left and you got three occasions left. Making no sense. Okay. Kind of amazing how we can talk about some guy getting shot nine times and be like, yeah. you know, not shalom, but... I'm really looking at his tattoos and thinking, does he have fake tattoos? I voted for him that time around. Sorry, Madball. And that's no disrespect. Odd... <laughs> Why didn't I think of that joke? He wasn't even joking around. Oddball. <laughs> that's good, he's good. You can have my place. Gil and Madball. Why do you think you're not the mole? I actually have a YouTube platform called American Troll. If you guys don't think I'm the troll, that's actually a good thing because I'm breaking the stereotype. Yeah. I might scare you on the streets if you don't know me. Now, I could never be a mole. I don't believe in snitches. They're fighting to the death. They're doing like an old, uh, old Western standoff with the guns. You know those uh, those things where they do this? So they're usually in a desk chair just like this. And it's just about who's quickest to draw in. I'm pretty sure it's exactly what it is. What no, think? I agree. I right. agree. For sure. Let's bring them in. <sighs> about to cry. Oh, I know they're going to get Gil for sure. He's out of here. That's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. We're not going to find out who was the mouse. Sorry. Just kidding. Guys, that was just a Christmas prank slash Christmas miracle. You ready? Yeah. yeah! Let's go. The mole can stand up, okay? I'm going with, is he the oddball or the guy I predicted in the beginning? I'm going to stay true to my guns and say it's the guy in the beginning because you can't doubt yourself in this world and you've got to trust your gut. And if you can't trust your gut, you've got to get it out of you. So you've got to commit, you've got to do surgery on yourself to remove your gut. And I'll do that if I'm wrong. <laughs> My gut did it again. My gut's on fire this year. I hope my gut keeps it keeps it up. I really don't want to get rid of that thing. They got him out first time as well. They could have just left it there. A lot of my homeboys did it. I was around it, so if I really wanted to, I could have, but I just stayed away from it pretty much. Yeah, you made the right choice, but yeah. I, I, was, I was a little nervous about this because I had to sit there and lie to actual gang members. And when I see it. Well, he didn't have to lie for long because they got him out pretty fucking quick. He just wasn't very good at it. So I'm right as per usual. Right again. Such a shame. I had fun being right. Thanks for watching the video share this to your family group chat like subscribe comment and if christmas is already gone actually even it's wednesday so hey i hope, I hope it went well i hope you're playing with your toys now i'll be playing with my toys right now this top when this uploads that's such a nice thought me just sat with my toes wriggling playing with my toys see you later i'm gonna go have a cup of tea